dances. I am at home, as you can see, and um, I'm going to deliver your new mat-based ballet basics and conditioning part of the class. Um, obviously, just a reminder, we do have that paced work just because it helps, not just because it helps to support our back and make sure our alignment is good. Dancers, please make sure for me that you've done a 10 to 15 minute aerobic warm up before you do this part of class. Um, I will endeavour to do a separate warm up for you. Um, in the meantime, I'd really recommend you doing a little bit of a casotonic warm up and pre stretch. They're really the best way to lift the heart rate and get your aerobic game nice and warm and ready for this sort of conditioning. Um, so do have a dip into those and it means you can have something different before doing all of your ballet basics and conditioning. And dancers, we're going to start um, on your mats. So sitting down and we're going to start today with our legs. I'm just going to move back a little bit with our legs and our hip width. So I'm going to find my hips bones are somewhere down there. I'm going to sit right up on our hips bones so you can, I can feel those bubbles in the floor. And we're just going to start with our reaches. And what we're looking at doing, I'll talk to you all the way through. What we're looking at doing for those that are new to ballet basics and conditioning with us, what we're looking at doing is really identifying all the muscles that we use through our belly. And we're looking to gently warm them up, heat them up and tone and strengthen them as we go. So what I'm trying to do here, is I'm trying to sit up as high as I can, and reach up, grabbing, and we say to our children, start from the sky, I'm feeling lots of length through the back. And I like to look up, it really encourages this stretch. I can feel gently heating up through the side of my body and through my back, and I can feel the top of my quad starting to warm up and contract a little bit. Now both arms go up to the ceiling, nice and straight, as straight as you can through the back. Check that you've showed your armpits, not very well, but never mind. Arms coming out and down to the sides, so lovely and straight through the back. Stay sitting tall for me, and from here, warming up your metatarsals, flexing and switching to stretch through the feet. Now you'll notice I I haven't got any ballet shoes on, certainly don't need them for this bit and it's starting to get really warm. And as always, we have the heating on and I didn't realise before starting this class. So it's super warm in here. Fight the flollop everyone, hashtag fight the flollop. So try not to collapse here, stay lovely and tall and lifted. Now flexing through the feet, lifting all the way up to the ceiling, breathing in and out and gently coming forwards. We're just looking for a little relax now. Relax your shoulders. Your knees can be slightly soft. Just feeling a gentle stretch through the hamstrings and through your calves. Calm breaths as you go. And you're gently uncurling and sitting tall on those sit bones again. Ready to reach up and grab those stars again. Let's go a little bit faster now. So we like to pick up the tempo sometimes just to get the heart rate gently lifted. We are reaching and reaching good. You'll notice I'm keeping my feet flex at the ankles. And lift tall and keep that beautiful back straight. Lots of space between your vertebrae. And now stretching and flexing nice and fast team really warming up those metatarsals. Now I'm focusing now on pulling my lower abdominals. Whilst I'm drawing down underneath my shoulder blades through my back. So remember the way we work muscles in antagonistic muscle groups is really important for ballet. And obviously at this point, we want our core muscles to be working equally as hard as our back muscles to stay sitting straight. Now I'm really feeling that heating my quads up now. I'm trying to fight the floor up, keep growing, keep tall in the back. So my ballet is so good for posture. And obviously during coronavirus, this posture keeping that chest open 
It's what we all want to work on at the moment. And we're going to relax there. Just shake your legs out. I really felt that in the top of my quads. I don't know about you guys. And so now I'm going to take a gentle frog. Now I'm not very warm. So my feet aren't too close to my, my body at this point. I'm just letting my knees drop out. We've all got different flexion, uh, range of motion in our hips, so please don't worry if your knees aren't on the floor like mine are, some of you will have. But from here, just gently holding on to the top of the feet, popping your elbows into the inner thighs there and taking a gentle stretch. I'm gonna release my head down as well. So that feels lovely. Stay there, stay with your head down for me for a moment. So getting a nice gentle stretch through your vertebrae. I'm going to be working your back quite a bit shortly. Very good. So then uncurling, coming back up to the top and bringing those legs out to the front. And now we're going to do our gentle rollbacks. This is to warm up our abdominal muscles. It also heats up around the hips because I'm going to turn to face the side for a moment. What I've done, team, is I've lifted my heels up off the floor, so I'm actually stretching and pointing my feet at the front. From here, I'm going to have my arms in first, and in your own timing, rocking gently back off your six bones and coming back up to the top. Trying to work from the base of the back, please, team, and going in your own timing here. You'll notice the pelvis is scooping underneath, keeping my chin off my chest and my shoulders back, and then coming up to the top. Now, it's very important, as with all queso classes, I'm not with you, so I can't see you to coach you, I am sorry, but I would like you to listen to your body and only go as far as, it, as you feel um, is good for you warming up your abdominals. If you have, keep going guys, if you have any lower back issues, please, 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 it's no problem to pop those hands down on the floor and you can use it to support you as you gently lean backwards and come up to the top. You might feel this starting to heat up gently around the top of those hips and you'll notice I'm bending the elbows as I go. Anyone with any heart issues, please you pop your hands down so that your blood pressure doesn't shoot up through the roof. You know who you are. Well done. So going back, coming up to the top now and release your legs, shake them out for me. Well done, everybody. I'm going to do that one again, just so we're really heating up our core. You're going to say, oh, really, so Not again, yes, again. Come on, team, let's go. So lifting those heels up, trying to push them forwards, dropping the knees wide and taking it as far down as you can and then back up to the top. Well done. You want to breathe out here on that effort and back up to the beginning, well done. We're just gonna do two more because then comes our challenge. We're gonna take it back and we're gonna hold. So maybe don't go too far back for me. Open your arms to the side and from the top of your leg, little lifts and lowers up and down. We're doing two great things here. We're conditioning our core muscles while we're strengthening right into our hip flexors. So lifting and lowering and lifting and lowering. Keep going for me. I'm gonna face the side again to demonstrate that to you. What we want to see is not a stretch from the knee, but keeping the shape in the leg, lifting from the hip T, from the hip. Now obviously some of you might be much further back. Great, go for it. I find that really challenging. I'm not super warm at the moment. So you go where you can for four, for three. Oh my goodness, it's so hot next to this radiator. For two, for one, and come on out and shake your legs out, everyone. Well done. Shake, 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 shake. And let's have a little stretch there. So coming forwards again, just gently holding on to the top of the legs. And please release your head for me again. Just hold there for a minute, gentle breath, please, team. Obviously, I don't want to turn away from you because I know you lose my audio. Hopefully, you've got your water. If you haven't, go and get it now. And if the weather's lovely and warm, please make sure you keep sipping water. 
all the way through class as normal. Thank you so much. So from then, just checking on my notes to make sure I give you the right class today. Okay, we're going to do some turnouts, team. I'm just going to turn down my operator in the background. We're going to do some gentle turnouts, and we're going to do the sitting today. So what we want to feel is working from the back of the leg all the way through and up into the glutes, the rotation work. Now, I've got quite large calves, so if you see, when I straighten my legs, and I am going to start with my legs together, um, when I straighten my legs, my heels pop up off the floor. If yours do that too, that's absolutely fine. It's just our makeup, no problem at all. Think of that lovely straight back that you achieved at the beginning with your stretches, and try and find that straight back, zipping the lower abdominals into the spine. Make sure as you look ahead for me, team, you can see your fingers in your peripheral vision and lots of space between the lower part of the ear and your shoulders. So lovely long neck from here, working from the top of the legs, rotating out for me and then rotating in. As you rotate out, I'd now like you to start contracting your gluteal muscles. So we rotate out, squeeze the bottom and then come back up to the top. Now I'm a middle-aged mother and quite frankly this is far as I can go. Obviously some of us have a better range of rotation, a bigger range of rotation and you're able to rotate with completely out. What is really important here is that we're working from the top of the leg, from the glutes rather than from your knees, your ankles. So it doesn't matter if this is a tiny rotation, just to hit, as long as it's a true rotation, everyone. We're really looking for conditioning. We're taking it all back to the basics, making sure that we can work effectively when we're progressing through our levels and that we remain injury free. That's so important to us. All right, obviously to everyone, but we want to look after you as best as we possibly can. So I can really feel that heating up my bottom. See if you go any faster, everyone. Are you breathing? Oh goodness, are you still breathing? Keep breathing, good job. And again, I'm really feeling it tightening up in my quads at the top. So I'm actually gonna shake that out and take a break there. I'm gonna go back into my frog just to have a little rest. Little pressure in, that's feeling a little bit looser now in my inner thighs, which is nice. So I can feel that I can go a little bit deeper here. I'm really sorry if a little face pops around the corner. Gavin's trying to get Pickle off, and I don't think it's working because she can hear me. Oh dear. Never mind. Nice, let's go again, guys. Here we go. Let's try and pick up the tempo a bit. Find those sits, both sit tall. Okay, and rotate it out and in. And out and in. Let's go for 15, out and in. And out and in. It's really, really hard to work the muscles evenly, I find. I know I'm so much stronger on my left side. I've completely lost count because I've started talking at you. So we'll just keep going. So hope we do more than 15. Boom. Well done. Squeeze those bottoms, everyone. See you all going up and down at home, popping up and down. Well done. Steve, are you slouching? Fight the floor up. Well done. Sue, are you breathing? Good job. Rita, is your back all right? Put those hands down if you need to. Debbie, keep smiling. <laughs> well done. And those arms are fabulous. Posture's amazing. Well done. And hold there, hold it, hold it. All my legs are shaking. Hold for four, hold for three. Oh, hold for two, go on, okay. Give me the face and release. <laughs> okay, shake it off. Oh, that feels good. Fantastic. All right, team. So just shake it out for a moment. I've got a little Gavin's head peeking pe pe out through the door. I'm sure I'll pop round to say hello in a minute. Oh, dear. Well done. All right, have a little rest there, guys. Frog again. All right, we're going to start lying down. I'll probably go um, and lie sideways for you. I think it's, well, you'll basically get a much better shot um, <laughs> if I do so. And we're going to do the beast. We didn't do it in the last course. 
and it's time to bring it back. But we're going to do it from a gentle propped up position, please. And it's this way that I know that you're managing to keep your back on the floor. It's just gonna give us a little bit of support there. So this is a great combination exercise to strengthen your abdominal muscles, but also to work your turnout. Before we do the beast, I would like you to do some gentle devil pace. So either on this one, right. it's low level, propping yourself up on your elbows, you can scoop your pelvis under so that you know the middle of the back and the back is staying nice and safe and flat on the floor. We're simply devil paying to the ceiling, we're lowering down and we're keeping going now. Some of us with a little lower back issues and um, any internal heart issues or anything else, you know who you are. Please do this very small like this and just go at your pace, please team, just at your pace. So little circles to heat up your quads and obviously every time we lower down, it's working those abdominal muscles. Alternatively, if you would like to work harder, tilt your pelvis under and lower the legs lower to the floor. I can only go to there. I can feel my back starting to lift there. So that's as far as I'm gonna go. We're trying to relax those shoulders. Good. And don't forget to breathe, team. Now keep going for me at your pace. Well done. Please, please don't worry about the size of the range of motion. Obviously as you do this, and I know you're gonna be doing this like three times a week, you're going to come back with abs of steel, that's what we want. You'll find that you can go further and further. Are those shoulders relaxed? Are you still breathing? Keep going for me, everyone. Give me a few more, please, team. Nice and smooth. You're just keeping your feet stretched to warm up your metatarsals. Give me a few more. And relax, everybody. Well done. From there, take a long line stretch. Good job, nice long stretch, reach, oh, touching the wall. Can I touch the other end? No, I don't think so. Nice stretch, good job. And then let's gather it in now. For the beast, we call it. I don't know if that's motivational or not, really. I'm gonna put my hands underneath my lower back so I can make sure my pelvis is tilted. All right, team, and from here, everybody, we're going to develop the legs up to the ceiling. From here, we're going to turn the legs out from the very top of the leg. We're going to lower our legs down just a little way. We're going to open the legs to the side. Good, holding turnout. We're going to bring the legs back up to the top. From here, our right leg is going to lift from the back of the leg and lower down. Then our left leg lift and lower down. From there, we return to the beginning, we turn the legs in, and we release and relax and squeeze. Now, if you found that challenging on your lower back, please try again, but using that prop up. So sometimes it can be a little bit easier to come on up and work this way. So go again, please, everybody. Lying back down if you can, or if you think you'd like to have a go this way, you might find it a little bit easier. So you develop to the ceiling, you turn your legs out, you lower your legs down a little. We open out to the second, we use our inner thighs to return. This time left leg lift and lower down. Right leg lift, try and keep that knee straight and lower down. And return the legs up to the top, turn in, and release. Good job, guys. Knees into chest for a moment and then into baby pose, so dropping the knees wide. Good. So super combination exercise, this one. I really feel it working my core, working my hips, working my abductors and my inner thighs. Let's go again at your level, please. So propping up if you would like to. Shoulders back and released. Develop to the ceiling from the top of the legs rotating out. Now, if you would like to take your legs lower, by all means do so, but please make sure that that lower back stays flat on the floor. Right leg lift and lower down. Try and hold turn out, everyone. Are your shoulders relaxed? Oh, I've got the shakes there. Breathe in, breathe out and lift back to the top. Rotate in 
and release. Now I know Kate did a class once with you, have a little rest for a moment, and I think she did like eight of these or something. She's mean, that girl. We are just gonna do one more. I'm just gonna put my water bottle down. Let's do one more again. Right there on the prop up. Developing into the ceiling. Shoulders relax, please, everyone. Turning out. And lower those legs down. Keep the middle of your back flat on the floor, team. Shoulders relaxed. Opening out. Coming back in. Now really hold turn out. Focus on holding turn out as you lift one leg and lowering down. And lift the other leg. And lowering down. Are you still in turn out? Are you breathing? Come back up to the top. Don't give up now. Turn in and relax. Ooh. Now guys, I'd say to you, if you feel you've got a little bit more in you, by all means stop the video and do that one again. Yes, do it as many times as you feel you can. You want to work yourselves so that you feel um, heat in your, in your muscles, the muscles that we're targeting that I'm talking to you about. I would say to you, don't work to absolute fatigue, please, while well, Kate and I and the, and the rest of the team and Vicky and Izzy and Lizzie can't be with you to see you. It's really good to work um, to tiredness, but not to fatigue, please. Okay? All right, my loves, from there, we're going to please do your um, side retirees. So maybe lying with your head uh, that way, so we're mirroring each other. What we want to do is lie sideways, so you could move your mat, I'm not going to bother for speed. And we're looking, my loves, for that lovely straight line through your body. So from your head down to the coccyx, and then with your knees bent in front, and your feet, the tips of your toes, again, in line with the coccyx, basically as if you were lying against a wall, please. All right, you know the score, my loves. I'm going to lie down sideways here. Just going to turn up our lovely music in the background. All right. And from here, trying to make sure that top hip doesn't drop back at all. We're doing a retire opener. So we're opening out, making sure we don't swing back at all. That's a pretty look. And we're lowering down. So working from the very top and back of the leg, and being true to yourself. That means, what I mean by that, is if the leg only opens a little way, that's as far as your hip will allow, that's absolutely fine. Remember your hip is a ball and socket joint. Some of our sockets and our hips, the head of the femur, sits far deeper in the ball and socket than others. All right, so keep going gently, opening. And if we drop that top hip back, we will be losing the effectiveness of this very targeted exercise for our turnout muscles. Try and keep those lower abdominals working, engaged. So contracting and thinking about gently squeezing the belly button through into your spine. And we're going to hold it open here. Hold, I can really feel it heating up here now. And I'm going to release and pulse, release and pulse, release and pulse. Oh, it's screaming at me. Well done. Keep this going for me. A few more, four, three, two, and hold the open, hold. Keep your foot stretched, you'll notice my toe is just resting on the inside of that supporting leg and I'm going to lower down there and have a little rest, popping my leg over the top and giving my bottom a little rub there. That's lovely. Might want to give your leg a gentle swing here to ease those muscles out. And we're going to return to that retiro position to take a developé. So this time, without making sure our back is lovely and straight, holding onto the hip. I actually really hold my hip so I know it's not moving. I'm going to take a retire. I'm going to develop 
I'm going to return and then lower down. Ooh. So I'm taking a retiro position, keeping my thigh completely still. I'm, I'm folding, I'm returning, and I'm lowering down. Keep going for me, everyone. Opening out, core on gently, unfurl, unfurl, uncurl, unfurl. Is that a word? Well done. Go again for me. Opening out, lower abdominals on, uncurl, develop pain. Return and lower down. And again, we're going to do two more. Uncurl, retire, uncurl from the knee down, stretch the foot, return, good job, and lower down. I was just sitting up there, I wanted to make sure I'm still filming and I haven't stopped. Uncurl is still there. There's a beautiful set of six here, guys. Well done. And return. And replace. And relax again, everybody. Well done, team. Good job. If you want to lie onto your back there, well done. Pop that leg that you were just working over the top of the other one. Give those glutes a lovely stretch. Oh, that feels nice. You can pick up that bottom leg into a deeper bind if you want to. Oh, that's great. And let's go for that one on the other side, my loves. So if you swivel, that's it. So you can stay facing me. Well done. Get your alignment correct. Hopefully you can see me all right. Just imagining Sue and Steve in their lounge, sort of lying side by side, doing a sort of ballet spoon. <laughs> Open and lower. Well done. Hopefully we're international. Kathy and Andy are doing this from Wales. Well done. Zipping those lower abdominals in. Trying to relax our shoulders. I know Kathy often tells me to be quiet, so I'll just stop for a moment. Stop talking while you focus on your movement. As far as you can without letting that hip drop back at all. Susanna, are you there? Are you getting this? Well done. Joan, are you all right? Is Michael watching you? Babe, what is she doing? My crazy wife. No pain, no gain, guys. Well done. Zip those lower abdominals in. Try and make sure nothing falls backwards. Keep forwards and in it, little pulses. Oh, I'm really feeling this one today. Well done, everyone. A few more moments. And hold open. Oh, and relax. Well done. Put that leg across, beautiful. Very targeted exercise, working deep into the glutes. Well done. And let's go for those devil of pain now. Six. And obviously, if you would like to do more, by all means, pause the video and do so. Make sure that hip doesn't drop forwards at all. And lower. Good job. Now, obviously, if Jen was here. Her knee will be up to the ceiling. She'd be devil of pain up there somewhere. And we are lucky enough to have members of our amazing English National Ballet, the Royal Ballet, other super companies delivering wonderful ballet classes and so on and so forth from home. I wish I looked like that, but I don't, and I'm cool with it. Just loving still being able to move and focus on strengthening myself and doing what I can. I think that was five. I need to stop waffling, don't I, everyone? I'm realizing that you're gonna do this class five times and maybe even more. And lower down, well done. And roll onto your backs, my loves, and draw that knee, wow, into your chest. How are you all doing? Are you all all right? Have a little rest.
Relax those tummy muscles there, guys. Good job. Just stay there for a moment so you're really stretching those glutes out for me. Just feel like I'm going to talk to you. Um, so we now, in just a moment, going to roll over. Please make sure you drink some water. Please go. We're going to roll over and strengthen our back muscles a little bit. Just to finish on the mats team. Um, I feel like that's probably long enough. So please make sure you've had some water. Yes, well done. And we're going to roll over onto your tummies, please. And we're going to do your opposition lifts, team. And I'll just get going and coach you as we go. And I am going to turn my mat now. No, I'm not. It's all right. I'm just going to go on the floor. So maybe I'm going to go with my head up this way. Okay. And I'm going to lie with my legs in turnout so that I'm focusing on still using my gluteal muscles, okay? So I'm in turnout, my glutes are on, my knees are nice and straight, good. And from there, everybody, we're going to have nice and long through the arms. Have nice and long through, great English, Sophie. Have nice and long through your arms, would ya? Be lovely and long through your arms. Reach your arms out and above your head, everybody. And we're going to lift opposition arm to opposition leg. Opposite arm to opposite leg, team. Going to do a little lift and a lower down. And a little lift and a lower down. And a little lift and a lower down. And a lift and a lower. Now keep going for me. When you're doing this exercise, what I want you to imagine is somebody's pulling your arm long and away and the same through the leg down at the bottom. So you're feeling a two-way stretch as you lift. We're targeting very specifically the lower back, a little bit underneath your shoulder blades and obviously into the glutes as well, so multifunctional. Team, you can modify if you need to. By all means, if you're finding that it's hurting your back, please rest and just do your legs. Equally, if you're finding your lower back's really hurting, just go for the reach through the upper back. That will be a little bit easier, team. And you can keep the hands down now. If you want more of a challenge, make sure your arms don't go down on the floor. This is really hard. Yeah, so keep your hands lifted off the floor so you're not tempted to push down on the floor. And that is more than enough of those guys. Well done. Hand onto your shoulders, lifting up, pushing back, and rest. Ooh. Feels good. Feels good. Nice stretch in your glutes there. Coming up onto all fours, knees soft. Looking up to the ceiling, nice stretch through your tummy muscles. Then breathe out and invert and push the centre of your back up to the ceiling. And back down again, looking up to the ceiling. And looking in between your legs. From here, walk your hands back a little way. And come back out to neutral. Bring your knees together and gently sit over to one side. That was a bit like a plonk, wasn't it, everyone? Come back up to the top and gently sit over to the other side. And go a little bit further down, just trying to get a little stretch in those adductors here, where it's ever so hard. And then back up to the top. Well done, everyone. From there, please tuck your toes under. And pushing back onto your heels and gently hang. So you're trying to release your head. Your knees are slightly soft. Gently walking forwards a little way. And back a little way. Don't worry if this is too much, if you can't reach the floor, it's no problem, just hang where you can. Now hold your elbows, everybody. 
and gently sway forwards and backwards through the feet. And I don't want you hanging upside down for too, too long. So release your hands, plie and slowly uncurl, coming up to the top. Smashed it, everybody. So I'm coming down because I'm sort of out of shot there. That doesn't matter. I hope you're well. I'm going to stop the video now. I'm going to have some water, refill my water. And then we're going to do your centre practice. OK, team? Well done, everyone. Hope you're feeling great. Let me know how that one went. I'm just going to stay down here. going to get a, a chest shot. And I'll see you in a minute for some centre practice.